we started in 2019 with my co-founder Sudarshan Luda. Uh, Startup Property is a fractional investment platform uh, where we invest in commercial real estate in a ticket size of 25 lakhs. So we take care of end-to-end asset management uh, at Strata from you know uh, sourcing of an asset till you know funding, re- registering and post that like correcting of rentals, disposing of rentals is all. Uh, that we take care under one platform. Our growth has been uh, rapid. We have seen a 100% growth uh, year on year. So Strata currently has over 2,000 clients. We have over 1,000 partners and we currently manage over 1,200 crores worth of properties across India. We have our head office in Bangalore and we also have offices in Mumbai, Pune and Gurgaon. We enable people to invest into high yield commercial real estate such as offices, warehouses, factories, retail outlets, and more. Now, Strata works with a lot of H&I clients. People are investing a lot of money with us. So, understanding exactly what it is that they want from us, exactly what it is that they're expecting from us, is very important so that we can provide them exactly the right investment experience for them. When we started initially, we were using a third-party CRM. But as we grew as a company, uh, we had to take the decision to build this in-house or outsource it. That's when we came across Zoho CRM. That kind of fulfilled all the requirements that we were looking for. My first impression with Zoho was that it was a very uh, no-nonsense, easy-to-use platform. It was simple, it was relatively easy to understand. Uh, If you had looked at any other CRM platforms before, they're generally very difficult to get used to. However, the user experience with Zoho was much easier. The CRM is where the sales process begins. Once a customer has signed up on our website, they are created as a lead and passed into Zoho CRM. We have a pre-sales team that would make the first phone call to make them understand uh, and to get answer some questions that they would have. Once a customer uh, is clear that they do want to uh, initiate a conversation with us, the team schedules a call. That is when the in-house sales team, they will uh, take over. Their job starts with first looking at the information provided by the customer in the first place, uh, identifying certain things that they're looking for. But once they do become a client, that information, the lead is converted into a client in our platform and, and that is also managed by the sales team. We track the performance of a sales team quite extensively. It is not just the final sale closure that we track, but we also track the performance across a lead's life cycle. For example, it is important for us to log our calls. So we use the Zoho CRM app and once a call is completed with the customer, the sales team generally logs that call in. We also make extensive use of the notes functionality to keep track of certain information about the lead. For example, what it is that they are interested in, what do they want to invest in, and information such as that. Is the core sales functionality of the CRM, our sales team, uh, their day starts with opening Zoho CRM and looking at the leads that have been assigned to them. We use it primarily to uh, keep a track of our leads, uh, to, to make notes on our conversations with them and also to qualify them. We mark their lead status. Uh, that is the primary use case. Our team also uses Zoho CRM on a daily basis to schedule meetings, to, to make logs of their calls, keep a track of their entire uh, sales funnel. The main features of Zoho CRM that we use on a daily basis, approval rules is something that we use on Zoho CRM for, for a particular use case. For example, when a lead needs to be transferred from one IM to the other, we use approval rules so that a senior manager can intervene, verify whether this transfer is required and approve it. The assignment uh, tool, there are a lot of ways to actually assign a lead to someone. We can do it in round robin fashion. We can also have multiple stages. This is something that we really appreciate. The other thing is very specifically to, to roles. Uh, as a company with uh, salespeople, with analysts, with marketers, the access to information that we give to each of them is quite important for us. And using the role functionality, we've been able to, you know, segment the data in a way that so that the information is available with someone and it is only the information that they need and it is not anything else. Validation rules is something that we use for very specific use cases, but they are very important for us. One of the primary cases in which we use it is to identify what are the reasons for which we are unqualifying a lead. Uh, so let's say someone is marked as unqualified, then our team can only choose the options of whether they have uh, they are not interested, whether they don't have the enough money to invest with us, or if they really did not understand the product at all. So using validation for, uh, for instances like this makes it so that we know exactly why 
we are losing a lead. The no code drag and drop feature of Zoho CRM is something that I find very robust. It is quite simple and intuitive to use. Now what this means is that it is great for both experienced users and also for new joiners. A new joiner can simply make small changes on the fly without having to speak to someone more senior or ask for the intervention of the technology team. This makes it so that we can use the Zoho CRM in a way that is very user friendly but also in a way that is more personalized. So the reports module is one of the most important things that we use on Zoho CRM. It is extensively used by the sales team, it is used by the marketing team and it is also used by the internal strategy team. We also have reports for the marketing team. For example, all the leads that are generated, most of them are coming through marketing campaigns. So we do have the information of which campaign a particular lead came from. So the marketing team uses this information to understand the performance of their individual campaigns. Now that is something that has a direct impact on our both our expenses and our possible revenue. So it is something that is used extensively. Now the strategy team and of course the upper management use the Soho reporting tool to understand how the business is performing from a both a sales perspective and from a marketing perspective. I would say that the reporting function is the most important uh, or one of the most critical tools that we use as part of Zoho CRM. We do have our own internal tools which take care of the actual purchase and sale of those uh, assets. Now that tool, which we call as a starter dashboard, is also well connected with Zoho CRM. So information such as the name of the individual, more uh, particular personal details such as their email, their contact information, and also specific information on which properties that they've invested in with us. All that information is passed to Zoho CRM and it is a dual synchronization. Meaning that if we change anything on Zoho CRM, it is reflected on our tool. And if we do the same on our tool, it is reflected on CRM. Our experience with Zoho CRM has been extremely productive. We did need a lot of help, specifically when it came to creating new modules and customizing it to the way that we wanted. We also had a lot of functions that we wanted and the Zoho team was extremely helpful in uh, you know, helping us and walking us through how to set it up. And to anyone on the market who is looking for a CRM platform, I would say that opting for Zoho CRM means that you have a product which is easy to use, which is extremely customizable and is very cost effective.